Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing well today. Just found this article, it has to do with AI. It said, Inside Cognify, the prison of the future, where AI rewires your brain. A new prison concept proposes bombarding criminals with artificial memories from the perspective of their victims. What could go wrong? Well, it says, if a person was a violent offender, for example, they could be forced to watch their crimes from the victim's perspective. Drug-related crimes might be punished with fake memories that simulate the struggles of addiction and recovery. At the same time, emotional states like remorse and regret would be triggered by tweaking neurotransmitters and hormones in real time. As explained in the video, prisoners would be able to choose Cognify as an alternative to a traditional prison sentence. Why would they do agree to that, you ask? Well, Treatment could take possibly place in just a few minutes, and that way they would go ahead and do the rehabilitation through the AI. It would rewire their brain, so to speak. It would reprogram them to not even remember those memories, and it would re rehabilitate them so they could be uh, released back into society. So we already know this stuff happens with uh, the neural link thing that they plant in this guy's head. I think he's already experimented with it. For me on Musk, they're experimenting with Neuralink, where it kind of, the real catch of this thing is it's going to help people that are quadriplegic and stuff like that, but it's got more things behind it. It's, it's more about really controlling someone if you really look deep into it. Uh, the term Human enhancement can mean anything from morally improving someone's natural abilities to radically modifying humankind. The latter is the vision of transhumanism, which seeks to technology evolve humans into post human and possibly godlike beings. Little g. Recent tools to pr pursue this vision could include brain computer interfaces, BCI is what we're talking about, where they put chips in your brain. Nanotechnologies and gene editing tools like CRISPR. All these tools limitations lead some scholars to question if biotechnology can involve humans the way transhumanists imagine. Visions of enhancement continue to capture public government and military attention. So there, as we know, Satan wants to be like God. He's a counterfeit. He wants to do everything like God did. Well, what did God do? Well, in the beginning, we know God said this, in Genesis 1, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heaven, and over the livestock, and over every living thing, and creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So, Satan knows he messed up. Of course, he was thrown out of heaven because he rebelled against God. He wanted to ascend himself above God. Now he wants to be God, and he temporarily will be God, the little g of this world, which he is currently doing right now. He is deceiving so many people into believing lies and, and everything. And here it is right here, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. The God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Who is the image of God? So Satan is deceiving so many people. Then it talks about here where in Genesis, <clears throat> after he created man, you know, he created Eve. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is it thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. So after Adam and Eve sinned, he, he told them they could eat of every tree of the garden except for the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which Eve did t partake, partake in the tree, then she gave to Adam. Well, Adam made the final decision. He ate the of the tree. He ate, he ate. We don't really know what kind of fruit it was, but a lot of people depicted it was an apple, but we really don't know. I mean, I don't know that, so I don't... Anyway, they did eat of the tree. They got cast out of the garden. And we all know what happens after that. So uh, we did find this. This is also having to do with um, 
the other day at the at the Olympics. I found this. C Spire, a telecommunications company based in Ridgeland, Mississippi, wrote a post in X where they were shot by the mockery of the Last Supper during the opening ceremonies of the Paris Olympics. C Spire will be pulling their advertising, and of course they did. C Spire is a support of our, of our athletes who have worked so hard to be part of the Olympics. However, we will not take, take part of the offensive and unacceptable mockery of the Last Supper. Which is why we're pulling the advertisement from the Olympics, C Spire CEO Susie Hayes said in a statement provided to Fox Business. So that was the other day, right after the mockery of the Last Supper, which was total blasphemy. And uh, I'm glad that they did this. I'm glad that they made that decision. That was very, very good that they did that. So <clears throat> this is another verse about satan how he's deceiving people he it says no wonder satan disguises himself as an angel of light he makes things look good when they're really bad that's what he does he makes things look enticing to people and people that don't know the truth the real truth they they go for this stuff they follow they will follow him they, they will they will they not know what the devil is doing he has his has his plans and agenda uh, let's see if I can find this. Okay, here's another verse. Talking about the transhumanism, going back to that. Daniel 2, 4, 43. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. So back in the day, before the flood happened, the sons of, you know, the fallen angels mixed and mingled with um, with uh, with the uh, women, and they are about Nephilim. Okay, well they're, well, they're doing the same thing again. It's just having to do with technology. They're trying to mix mix technology with humans, make make people cyborgs, make make people you know robots, pro, so to speak, program them, and they're programming people. They've always been programming people through channels and programming because that's all that is, is TV programming. They're, they're giving you programming. They're, they're brainwashing the world through TV, media, all that stuff. So all this stuff is taking place. It's really fixing to go really high speed ahead, I believe. You can really sense something's fixing to happen. I mean, if you if you really believe, study the word, you know that something's fixing to go down because all this stuff. And then this was the day earlier today with Israel. It's already day not two ninety nine already. Security cabinet meeting underway to discuss Hezbollah, Hamas response to killings. The high level security cabinet meeting at the Kiri military headquarters has begun as Israeli officials tell the Times of Israel. The forum is expected to discuss potential Hezbollah and Iranian reactions to the assassinations of senior Hamas and Hezbollah leaders. Okay, if I wasn't mistaken, it wasn't Israel who attacked anyone. They were attacked. They have every right to defend themselves. God is going to protect Israel. So Israel will be in God's hands. You think about it, all these countries that's coming against Israel. Every country, they're going to be totally surrounded if they're, if they're not going to be already. They're, they're going to be totally surrounded, and they're such a small country. You know, God has his hand on Israel. He's going to protect them. So there's nothing going to, going to happen to Israel. Israel will stand forever. They're going to go through some trials because after the believers are not here, there's going to be trials there everywhere in the world, actually. So, um, I wanted to show you guys, I found this, I watched this video, and it has to do with nicotine. Now, I had a channel, we all know what, basically, we all know what happened four years ago, right? Everything changed, the whole world changed, the whole world came to a standing, standing still point. They told you what to do, this was all just a big test, in my opinion to see how many people would go with it. Well, basically 90% of the world went with it. And of course we all know what happens. Inflation, 
all the prices of everything's gone up. Food's gone up, skyrocketed. Fuel's gone up. Your insurances, everything, loans, anything that you do now has. But this is all by design. They want to infiltrate, basically take over the country, the world, and it's all Satan's design. He's the leader of all this stuff. He's he's in control of this. Some because God is limiting Satan and what he can do. God God still God still is in control of this world. He's gonna give Satan a limited control, but he's eventually gonna take the world over and set up his own kingdom, the millennium reign. So Satan thinks he can do all this stuff. Well, he's gonna have limited power and he's gonna be able to do that to a certain extent. But anyway, this video <clears throat> Is on another platform I can't share it on here but if you'd like the link to this video it's about a two and a half hour video it shows a lot of different things about deceptions and lies that we've been lied to about and it's very very interesting in some parts it's kind of boring in some parts but if you stick with the video you'll really learn a lot of things about it I've watched it once or twice it's very very um, it gives a lot of knowledge about things that we've been told but are not true and like I said I would share it on here but I can't because it would just now if I share this video if you send me your if you email me at treasurechestheaven at uh, gmail.com I'll send you the link but now you can't share this on Facebook or X or anything like that because they will not let it upload it won't it won't go through because i've already tried to send it through to those platforms so you just have to share it through a text you can share it through a text or an email but the video is very informative um, i would like to share it on here but i can't but anyway just wanted to come back on here real quick and uh see see how things are going i hope everyone's doing well we just need to lift each other up during these last times, last days. Just keep praying for one another. And um, if you need prayer, just put your comment down there, your prayer request. We'll pray for you. You know, we're, we're at the last hours, last seconds. And things are going to get really, really, really crazy. If you, if, if you can't tell that they already are now. So... Anyway, just want to make this video, come on here and tell you guys. Uh, I've been under the weather, so I haven't been able to post very much. But just pray for one another, lift one another up. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. We may disagree on different things, but at the end of the day, we all know where our destiny lies. We know we'll be with, forever with Jesus. That's the most important. The most important thing is to get people to know Jesus, to spread the gospel gospel of Jesus Christ that's more important than anything else in the whole world because time is running out we don't have much longer thank you guys love you guys and talk to you soon